Hello, and welcome to Aware Internet of Things. I am Darwin. Today, we are going to talk about mesh networks. But, what is a mesh network? Mesh network is a network topology with multiple nodes connected to each other, and we can see that each node has at least two connections. The first time that this topology was used, it was around the 80s for military purpose. Why is it important? In general, mesh networks are widely used to provide a resilient network, with connection redundancy and low latency. This network allows ubiquitous connectivity, and it is possible to connect hundreds of devices, and therefore, it is a scalable network. Moreover, it doesn't require a complex administration. Let's see how it works. Firstly, we have to know that there are two types of network topologies the partial mesh network and full mesh network. In partial mesh networks are not all the nodes connected to each other. Therefore, it is a less dense network and commonly connected a full mesh network. While in full mesh networks, all the nodes are connected and provide a robust network. Let's see a small example. In a real mesh network, we have multiple nodes, and they share numerous links between them. Thus, if we want to send information from one point to another point, the data will have different paths to reach the destination as we can see here. What happens if one node stops working? Well, the network is able to adapt and find another path. A little bit more information. We will see the mesh network from the OC model point of view. The elements of a wireless mesh network span a wide range of the OC model. Beginning from the physical layer, where it is necessary to choose the correct radio technology considering the data range, power consuming and the type of antenna, in order to provide low latency, energy efficiency and greater throughput. In the next layer, we have the medium access control layer, which manages communications between nodes in a shared communication channel. Furthermore, it is responsible for the correct operation of the network, rate adaptation, collision avoidance, providing interference resistance. The network layer is responsible for the quality of service, addressing and package routing to provide the best path routing. Here we have several routing protocols some of them are guesswork, DBF, LSR, among others. The transport layer is responsible for the data encapsulation and decapsulation, height throughput, and tender reliability, and finally, to handle the dynamic characteristics of the mesh network. At the end, we have the application layer, which is responsible for the discovery process and the access to the internet. Let's see the standard in wireless mesh network. The IEEE 802.15.5 working group was created in May 2004 to define a complete framework that provides a reliable and scalable wireless connectivity for mesh nodes. Moreover, it guarantees isochronous and asynchronous data transmissions and provides high throughput and low latency. The IEEE 802.11 Seconds Mesh Network, also named as Mesh Basic Service Set. It introduces new routing procedures that are performed at the medium access control layer. It enables rapid and low-cost backhaul deployment, and it can have a greater coverage, exploiting multi-hop forwarding. Now some Internet of Things Mesh Network Solutions Bluetooth or Bull Mesh Network is used as a reference technology to build mesh networks in order to enable many-to-many -many communications in network scenarios. A first change happened in 2017 thanks to the release of the official Bluetooth Mesh Networking Standard specifications. It has a low power consumption, and it operates in the 2.4 GHz band. Important to mention that the Bluetooth Mesh standard has not been designed to support real-time communications over multi-hop mesh networks. Zigbee is a 2.4 GHz mesh local area network protocol. It is characterized by its low power consumption and low cost. Moreover, Zigbee incorporates an IEEE 802.15.4 defined carrier sense multiple axis with collision avoidance protocol that reduces the probability of cross-user interference. Z-Wave is a sub-gigahertz mesh network protocol, which is a proprietary stack. It is often used for security systems using AES-128 encryption. Wireep is mesh. Is a wireless connectivity technology for massive Internet of Things devices. 
It supports up to 4 billion devices in a single network and provides high data throughput and low latency. There are many other technologies used in wireless mesh network. Here we mentioned only a few of them. Now, we will see some areas of application. Nowadays, we can see wireless mesh networks almost everywhere, for instance, in smart cities, smart campus, 5G technology, among others. Well, that was all for today. Thank you for listening and see you soon.